Que rollo con el pueblo mayor chicas, welcome back to a brand new video. So we just got a brand new camera, shout out to Chulo. He actually purchased a $2,000 camera, so these vlogs could be a little bit later. Um, so we're testing it out, we're still uh, trying to mess with the, with the settings. So if it looks a little bit weird or off, let us know, and if it looks good, um, I was reading you guys' comments, you guys really wanted us to get a better camera, so shout out to Chulo once again for, for doing that. I think he said he wants to take some, some, uh, some lessons, some classes. So I might pay for that just so we could have some, like I said, some better videos. But this video is not about Chulo and his brand new camera. It's about, look what we have back. Uh, I went to a freaking, uh, I went to a, to a beauty salon. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Because I wanted something fast. I wanted to just cut the, the sides, not really the top. And look what they did to me. First of all, look at my lineup. I don't know how it looks, but look at my lineup, man. And then look, I told them just a low fade. I mean, it's all the way up here, look. So I'm literally, I'm really over it now. Uh, I really want my hair just to grow back. Whatever, guys. But yeah, um, the video that you guys saw, it was recorded a little bit uh, before before that, so that's why we had hair. Um, but the truck, uh, we got it back now, now that I don't have hair, if that makes sense. So that video, that vlog was just being a little bit, uh, it was kind of lost in the files. But yeah, we got this truck back. Nice, beautiful 5.3 you guys saw when we purchased it. Um, it went in there and I also went ahead and threw some long tube headers in there. So this thing sounds like a monster. It is straight pipe right now. So it's way too loud. So that's why we're going to be taking this truck to the exhaust shop right now. We're going to be paying my boy in Fontana, um, El Cora Exhaust, a visit to get this truck a little bit more quiet. I want to show you guys what it sounds like now. But it is way too loud. Um, I drove this truck from the mechanic shop here to my house. And I was freaking dead for a good, like, a, a full day. So let me show you guys. My ear hurt. Oh, imagine me. So believe it or not, it sounds really, really um I like it, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it's safe for my ears, you know. And now that I'm getting older, my body's starting to hurt. I was just complaining yesterday my back hurts. You know, it's not the same as, as being a kid. But yeah, this this thing is is freaking loud. I love it, but we can't keep it like that. And then also I have a uh, really good news. This truck I'm not gonna be keeping, we are giving it away. But I'll give you guys uh, more details later at the exhaust shop, uh, at the exhaust shop where we have a little bit more time to speak. So then also one more thing is I just bought a brand new trailer because I sold my old one to Swellingham and uh, Aaliyah. So I wanted to get something a little bit less heavy so I got this other uh, used trailer. And this one has wood. Um, it does need a little bit of work right here, look. So I don't know, I might just change the, the, the couple of boards but I want to do all of it as well, so maybe we'll do that later. I'll have my dad help me. And then my friends were saying that I have to uh, like paint it or whatever. So the, but no se pudra la, la madera so fast. But this trailer is a lot lighter, which um, I, I love, but I still have not, I, ha I haven't tested a truck on here. So I just bought the trailer. Uh, I did the measurements, hopefully my measurements are good. I don't know if, the, if a truck is gonna be able to fit on here, but there's only one way to find out, right? And then the only bad thing about the trailer are these fenders are not removable, they're welded on here. So if it doesn't fit, then I'm just fucked. But uh, I think I did my, my measurements right. Let's put it to the test. Let's load the, the, the truck on here and hopefully it fits.
we did a good purchase. Yay! Um, before we continue with the vlog, man, we have to have breakfast. We're barely gonna make it too. But there's no parking, so look. Yo, no dirt trick, lights break laws, lights break rules. I said, can I meet in a road that way up in there, but come check it out. The truck did fit perfect, by the way. We let it all shut down, thanks to Dupalalo. Look at the, the space it has here. And then it's a little bit beat up right here, but it's okay, we'll change it later. And the other side is the same, so we have a lot of uh, uh, places on the trailer. Really, really good, it makes me happy. So let's go uh, grab something to eat. And also with this new camera, um, it's freaking huge and bulky. I feel a little bit more like a like a, like a YouTuber, you know? The only thing I don't like is the attention that I get, like cars are passing by and they're looking at, oh, I wonder who that is. It's not really special, just Jerry Tuercas, El Peloncito. Um, poquito. Estamos, estamos entrenando a ver si. <laughs> Gracias. So we had to pretend that it was really nice. I like I get embarrassed, so we had to pretend like we were just taking pictures. Como está algo mismo. Palalo. Ahora sí. Diet doesn't start Monday, Lalo. Diet starts today is Wednesday. Ancito, we're just waiting for mine and chulo. ¿De chulo? Yes, I got some taquitos. What you got? Some taquitos con arroz y frijoles. No, esos dientotes los vas a mascar, los taquitos, ¿no? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, chulo. Oh, I'm just testing on your camera. I'm in chulo on your camera. This focus thing is crazy, bro. Badass. Oh, you have a chicken? Oh, you Damn, Chulo, you can't wait? You're really, really hungry or what? Pobre pollito. ¿Dónde fue a meterse en qué dientotes? Ok, se llevó toda la comida y no más. Yo que me desayuno. No lo con la ensaladita. Yo con los tacos. Chulo, güey, Tacos. So guys, this is the aftermath. Jerry's knocked out. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Where are we at? You guys, honestly, la comida me cayó de peso y me eché un sueño. Man, it was one of those sleeps where like, it felt so, it was so like, it felt so long and just great. Uh, sounds kind of bad, does it? No, I even took off my shoes that got comfortable. I don't even want to put them back no more, so I'm trying to find my other sandal. Got bad news, I, I don't know if the boys are saying that. A tire pop on the trailer, so. What a fix that, there's a tire shop down here, I guess. I just want to go back to sleep. I don't even want to hear. I don't even, I don't even want to continue with this vlog. Check it out, we just unloaded the truck. Nice, beautiful tennis ball. Up next is gonna be the wheels, guys. But this truck is beautiful. So we need the wheels. So you look like this beauty. This is my boy, El Cora's personal truck. I'm pretty sure you guys seen it on TikTok or Instagram. It does a lot of reels with it, gets a lot of views. That's funny, the little stripe kind of looks like a tennis ball. But yeah, two beautiful SS clones. Let me show you guys 
the stance of this thing because it's crazy. Why did I park the tennis ball next to it? Look at this. I like this. It has the tubs, but it doesn't have the doghouse. I like how that looks. And he has the Cosmes on there. Just makes it look perfect. I believe they are 22s. Beautiful setup. And this is the shop. El Cora Exhaust. If you guys want to go ahead and follow him on Instagram, come check him out. They carry everything and they work with all brands. So they are really, really a, a badass shop. I've been coming here for years. I guess my boy has um, darts here. I made the boys uh, a deal. If they make it, on the first shot, I'll give them 100 bucks. Ready, Chilo? Put it walk one of the hard one. How many tries did we get? What? This is hard. Go one more. I'll give you one. I'll give you one more try each. At least we're trying a fifty bucks. Nah. Oh. You made it in? Low. No. No. Did he? Close. Close. Now back up to some my daughter can make him right there. <laughs> I, I bring it out as a lefty. Right when I was freaking talking about my brownie trailer, um the tire pop, so we had to switch it out. Look at this. Really come up get oh it's weird, it's like all tangled and stuff. But um we have something very funny about to happen. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we have lost the compa Lalo. He is no longer in the truck scene. He just bought this car. It's a Honda, a 2000 Honda Civic EX, I think. And he, he bought. I think I think it's slammed. I don't know. It looks not too low. And it has like nice wheels. I actually like the wheels. I like the color. It's like gold, white, and um, chrome. It's, honestly, it's a, it's a like nice looking little car. I don't even gonna lie. Um, I'm not really into cars, but I wouldn't mind getting a bucket like this and fixing it up. He said he wants to paint this candy apple red. Guess he don't get another, but I could already picture it in my head, and my God, I think it would look sick. This brings me uh, memories from when I was in high school. You know, this used to be a thing. Um, not too many people were into trucks, but yeah, and it has a sunroof right here. It, it, it's pretty good overall. All it needs is just uh, two fenders. And there's a little bit of minor body work and then just paint it. It's, it's nice. Oh, and also it just needs this side, this way. That's about it. The good thing is that it's stick shift. Not not good thing, but bad for me. It's stick shift. So I'm going to go ahead and go use it right now. See if I still remember how to use it when my sister was teaching me like two, three years ago. So let's go. It's on already? It's on? Yeah. All right. Oh, the window kit's already high in here. So, put the clutch in, right? Yeah, yeah put this out. Put this out. Put the brake. Put the clutch in too? Yeah, put the clutch and put it on first. Then let the gas go. Let, let, the the brake, go. let the brake go and go and press the stop on the gas. Slowly. So let the brake go fast? Just let it go and then press on the gas. And then let the, uh, go. when you press on the brake, go, let the, the clutch go. Help. Put the clutch put the clutch and put down first, like that. Go. Let the clutch go. What do you think, Chilo? That's a nice takeoff, right? It's still good in second, right? Yeah. So you have to go to third soon? Yeah. But I can just go cruising, you know? Yeah. So, so far, uh, I haven't stalled. See, I think I like these older cars better, just like trucks. Because my other sister's car was a little bit new, like a 2014. You know, everybody that I mainly know, for the most part, earns stick shift in all the car. So my new is just normal. The one that I 
coche, no, tú ahí no. ¿Te gusta meter cambio ahora sí, Val? Put the clutch, put the clutch in. Just throw, put it back in neutral like that. Let the clutch go. Let the clutch go. Like, like, it's good. Hello. And again, you're gonna, you're gonna put, put the clutch in. Put it, throw it on first. The first, look, the first is that way. Yeah, yeah. Let, let it go a little bit. Let's see. ¿Te meter cambios? No. Bueno, para meter cambios. Uh, guys, honestly, that was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, it's a lot of fun, my dad, my sister. Um, but like I said, I think maybe when I was with my sister, I was a little bit more nervous. The car was a little bit more new. I didn't really want to um, break it. But this one I had to allow if I break anything, um, I'll pay for it, you know. But I think I did pretty good. Not once did it, not once did I stall. I kept going. Um, I did see up in the house here and there, you know. But it, it really is my third time ever driving stick. But uh, you guys let me know from when you guys saw. What do you guys think about me driving stick down in the comment section? Um, and then also the truck, we did have to drop it off because uh, he said it's gonna take some time. So we don't know, we don't know if, uh, we don't know how long it's gonna take for the, we don't know how long it's gonna take for him to do all that. And I'll keep you guys updated, so stay tuned.